Once upon a time, such visions as these were never displayed to public gaze. And when we hark back, such a nice back, as I was saying, when we hark back to the days of heavyweight bathing costumes, they really thought that what the eye didn't see, the heart didn't grieve for. Well, that was all my eye, of course. However, in those once upon a time days, bathing pools such as this one on the Great West Road were almost unknown. John Tilly was a babe in arms and couldn't realize that one day he'd open a new pool by taking the first dive. As a diver, he's a wonderful comedian. Having declared the pool fit for human consumption, we proceed to the market of today, where new forms of aquatic joy spell health and happiness to the holidaymakers and bloom to the shades of Mrs. Grandy. That is how we moderns take the water, but once upon a time they were taken like this. We're at Brighton 25 years ago, when no girl dared go down to the beach in slips. Girls were girls then, but you'd hardly notice it. And those were the days when bathing costumes co covered a multitude of skins. Let's hope the water came up to their expectations. The gentleman in the bowler hat must be the original man from the Prudential. He probably called to see if the ladies were covered. Once upon a time, girls were covered with these voluminous costumes. Today, they're not even covered with confusion. 